As you're watching my hand pass across the video, the left and right brains inside of your head have to coordinate, creating and erasing information across that little gap in the middle. How's it do that? Hey Brainy D News viewers, I'm Trace, thanks for stopping by. The human brain is constantly working. While you're watching this, you're using a bunch of different parts of the brain to process and understand what I'm saying, so language and visual and auditory and memory among others. The brain is divided into two halves, the left hemisphere and the right hemisphere, and they're connected by a bundle of fibers called the corpus callosum. So what happens when you say you're playing sports or driving and something moves from the right side of your brain to the left side of your brain? Well, because the left hemisphere controls the right side and the right hemi controls the left side, then each side has to hand off information to the other all the time. A new study in current biology explores how the human brain accomplishes this feat without ever dropping the ball. Using an electroencephalogram, or EEG, the researchers scanned the brains of volunteers. Their results show that the brain anticipates the transfer kind of like this. Say a tennis ball is flying across the court from left to right, so your right brain moves the information to the edge of the hemisphere, and in anticipation, the left brain creates a copy of that information. This means for a brief moment, both sides of your brain are tracking the tennis ball. As the ball moves, then the left brain takes over, and the right hemisphere holds onto it for a brief period before erasing the information. And since we're talking about erasing things, another study in the journal Science from last week explored how the brain can lose track of memories over time by accidentally erasing stuff. Making memories is still a mysterious process, but now we know at least one thing that's erasing them, brain cells. Brain cells or neurons are where memories are stored, but they can also cause them to be disrupted. As babies, mammals have an initial period where new neuron cells are growing all the time, called rapid neurogenesis. As we age, fewer and fewer cells pop up. This new study found that when new neurons grow into the hippocampus, where memories are built, the information stored there can get messed up. Think of it like adding random blank pages into a book. Once the index is messed up, it would be impossible to find anything. Theories have guessed at this memory behavior before, and from the sound of it, this might be part of the reason why we have infantile amnesia, or the inability to remember much of our time as a newborn. All of those new neurons corrupt the memories we're trying to save. Researchers suppressed neuron growth in newborn mice, and without the disruption, newborns remember things a lot more easily. Unfortunately, we can't relate a lot of that into humans yet, but knowing how our brains move information and how our biology affects our memories over time is pretty exciting for scientists. Like, for example, what if maybe with more science we create an intuitive software that understands how information is moving around our brain and can help us grow neurons in the areas of the brain where traumatic memories are stored? Maybe that would help treat PTSD. Brains are pretty awesome. Do you have any other ideas how either of these studies could be used to help humankind? Tell us below in the comments, and if you f***ing love science, check out IFLS with Elise Andrew. She is all over stories about chemistry, health, astronomy, nature, you name it, including stuff like this. In a cave in Brazil, an insect has been discovered that has swapped genitals. When it's time to mate, the female mounts the male, inserts her gynosome into his vagina-like genitalia, and they begin a copulation session that lasts 40 to 70 hours. 40 to 70 hours? Damn, girl, you get yours. Do you have any other ideas how either of these studies could be used to help humankind? Tell us below in the comments, and thanks a lot for watching DNews.